Welcome to GhanaTalksBusiness.com and to our retirement planning tips. Today, we are looking at the mandatory formal pension contributions under the three-tier scheme that is Act 766. We are looking at the contributions or the relationship between your salary and your tax-free pension contributions. The law mandates both the employer and employee to make tax-free contributions into your pension. The employer is mandated to pay 13% of your basic salary into this pot. Now imagine this is the pot within which your pension contributions go. Um, and once the employer pays a 13% of your basic salary, you would also need to pay 5.5% from your basic salary. Together, we get the 18.5% of your gross or pensionable salary into this pot. And uh, let me here state this, that if you receive any allowances that are not taxed or, um, you know, doesn't normally appear on your pay slip and so they're not taxed, what happens is that they won't form part of your contributions and so won't form part of your retirement benefits. So just get this in mind. Now, once the 18.5% has been collected here, 13.5% um, would now be remitted um, into the first tier, which will then be split um, 2.5% to the NHIS and 11% to your pension, which SNIT will be the one actually handling it. The remaining 5% goes into the second tier, which uh, will be managed by private trustees. Both the first and second tiers are mandatory. That is that the law uh, makes it an obligation for both the employer and the employee to mix these uh, tax-free contributions into the employee's pension account. Then we have the third tier. As you can see, this pot is, um, is different. It looks bigger. Um, that means it can hold more funds. The thing is that it is voluntary. Um, and it's voluntary for both the employer um, here and then the employee. And so none are under any obligation to pay. If your employer decides to pay something, I think it's good. Uh, you would appreciate it and top it up. Okay. And look at the rate, 16.5%. Um, to be split in any proportion. If the employer decides to pay 5% or any percentage, you can also decide to pay any percentage to it. But a tax-free allowance on it is 16.5% of your basic salary. Um, if your employer, for some reason, decides not to pay into it, um, it becomes your sole responsibility to slice off a certain portion of your basic salary. And this is a very strong recommendation because it's out of this third tier um, which you have the freedom to actually uh, move some, some funds. You know, the rate is quite high, as you can see, and grow your pension fund considerably so as to be able to um, shore up your, your retirement benefits once you go on retirement. And again, I would say that all these contributions are um, tax-free. Um, so this is what you can contribute into your pension fund under the Act 766. Thank you very much for watching our time and planning tips. Go to ghanatalksbusiness.com or call this number if you need any further clarification. Thank you.